Hey guys, welcome to the channel. I'm Michael and today I'm reviewing the Kingdom 6 Tent from REI. This is the 2019 version. Now the Kingdom 6 Tent from REI is normally $499 and right now through September 7th, Labor Day weekend, it is $374. So it has a big sale going on now and if you're interested in the tent, this one is really nice. So let me tell you more about it. The tent itself has very large vertical walls that let you stand really easily. It's sturdy when it's up and there's not a lot of wind going. And the tent reaches 75 inches at the peak. If you are under six foot or just a little over six foot, you'll have no issue standing at all in this tent. It has two huge doors, both in the back and the front and a vestibule on one side and an awning on the other. One of my favorite things from the tent was the divider wall that comes and you can put it up either halfway through the tent or about 25% into the tent. And this allowed a place for us to put our dog beds so that we could have the dog in a slightly different room while we can have our own little area. So it was really nice. But that divider doesn't completely close up. It does have space around it. So my dog was able to sneak under it in the morning and make sure that we're up bright and early. My wife was able to set up the tent all by herself while I was unpacking the car. And it took her about 10 minutes. It was not bad at all. So it's super easy setup. Just well, you want to make sure that you set it up once before you go on your camping trip so you kind of know what to expect. We had no issues with bugs. They weren't particularly attracted to our tent and we didn't have any get in. So we were very happy about that. When you're packing up the tent, you do have to get things down pretty small for the carrying case. But once you do that, the carrying case is pretty nice. It turns into a backpack and you wouldn't want to carry it a long distance. It does get pretty heavy, but for moving from, you know, a camping parking lot to the car, or whatever, it is pretty easy. You want to make sure that you note that the footprint for this tent doesn't actually come with the tent. You have to buy it separately and that is an extra $50. So as far as our impressions go of this tent is we, we felt like we had a ton of room. It's, it's very spacious. We like the big walls and being able to stand up made it really easy to just unpack and relax. And it just felt really good to be in there. And we added some light bulbs in there and made it uh, just kind of romantic and very pleasant to be in and so it was just a, a great feeling tent a great place to be and we felt like we had enough privacy once we had the rain play on there and in addition the pockets all around the tent made it really easy to store stuff anywhere you wanted it put up lights wherever you wanted to and so you never feel inconvenienced by where you have to put things it, it, everything is an option if i were to say there were some negatives about this tent it would be that it wouldn't stand up well in the wind i wouldn't take this on a windy trip because it really started moving when we had very light gusts of wind. And I can't imagine that this big tent with these big vertical walls would do very well in very much wind at all. Uh, you also really do kind of need the rain fly up because if you don't, you don't have a lot of privacy. The, the mesh that is going around the tent is pretty see-through. And so if you're in a campground and you want that privacy, you kind of need that fly up. Overall, I'm really happy with this purchase. I think it's going to be a great tent for us, especially because we're not hardcore tenters. It feels really fun to be in, provides a lot of space for us. And we're just going to enjoy it when we feel the weather's right and we do our once or twice a year camping trip. I'll include some links to the light bulbs that we put in to make a kind of a romantic feeling tent. Also a link to the tent itself and the rain fly that you need to get if you get the tent.
If you like this video, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Peace.